Hello everyone, I'm Prasad from Structural Guide. Today we are going to discuss about design of beam for shear according to the Eurocode 2. This lesson is go with the work example, then you will be able to understand the design procedure very easily. In this example, we have considered the shear force of 500 kN, characteristic cylinder strength of the concrete as 25 Nm per meter square, yield strength of the reinforcement as 500 Nm per meter square. Width of the beam we have considered as a 300 mm and the height of the beam we have considered as a 600 mm. Effective depth we have considered as a 545 mm. We are not going to calculate the effective depth, we are going straight away have considered a value, then it will be easy for to proceed as with this example. First, we have to calculate the maximum shear according to its properties. There is a limitation given in the Euro code clause 6 to 3 under section 3. So it is VRD max equals alpha CW BW Z V F C D divided by cot theta plus tan theta. So let's find out the simplified form of this equations. V you, you can calculate according to your report is these equations are given in 6 2 2 and 6 number 6 under number 6 and F C D is equal to fck divided by 1.5 and z equal 0.9 d close 6 to 3 by substituting all these values to the above equation we can derive if we already max as 0.36 bw d fck into 1 minus fck divided by 250 that's whole thing divided by what theta plus tan theta this is the maximum shear force that we are going to calculate so let's first calculate the maximum shear force. For this calculation, we consider the angle as the 22 degrees. This is what gives the maximum shear. So we are going to check the VRD max. VRD equals 0.36 into BW width of the beam that is 300 and D effective depth 505 millimeter. In FCK it's 25 we have considered as a data and here the FCK also 25 divided by 250 then whole thing divided by cot theta cot theta cot 22 22 plus 10 22 right this value becomes ERD max equals so we can calculate this value i'm straight away going to write this value this is 460 kilo newton right now we know the vrd max now our shear force is what our shear force it is 500 then vrd max is less than v e d our shear force is here 500 Newton. So the shear maximum shear stress that for the angle for the 20 degrees is V is lesser. Now if this is the if this is not the case, that means if VRD max is greater, then we have to go to the calculation of the reinforcement area for shear. We have to go to the shear reinforcement calculation area. We don't want to proceed further. Because VRD max is greater, then we don't want to further calculations and we don't want to find the angle of, uh, of the compression strut. Then we are straight away go to the reinforcement and spacing calculation of the shear reinforcement. Since this is plus, we have to go to the next step and we have to find the angle. We have to calculate the theta. So theta there are there are the equations is given from different derivations so you can use this equation theta equals 0.5 into sine inverse v e d divided by 0.18 bw d f c k into 1 minus f c k divided by 250 so this equation can be used to calculate the theta. This angle should be less than 45 degrees. 
the tree is a mask. Now let's calculate theta from the our data 0.5 sine inverse VED that is 500 kilo newton. So we take it at, take it from the newtons divided by 0.18 into BW is 300 into D 5 4 5 into FCK that is 25 into 1 minus FCK is again 25 divided by 250. From this we can calculate the theta and theta becomes 24.52 degrees. It is less than 45 degrees. So now we know the theta. Theta is less than 45 degrees. Now we have calculated theta. Now we, want, we can calculate the shear reinforcement area or the shear links. Shear links can be calculated Shear links can be calculated from this equation. A S W divided by S equal V E D divided by 0.78 D F Y K into cot theta. All the parameters we know, then we can calculate the shear reinforcement area. So we have to substitute this value here. Uh, now we have to assume certain things now we have to consider certain things when you do a design of the say we have two legs right shear links we have two legs because there are links will be like this right so you have two legs there and one thing we have to consider is that we say 12 millimeter bar we are going to provide here 12 mm we can consider whatever the bar and according to that we can find the shear reinforcement area otherwise you can you can find this spacing otherwise you can follow this way. first we calculate the shear reinforcement area since we assume 12 millimeter bar we have two legs there so we can calculate the area of the shear reinforcement into 2 this become 226 millimeter square from the above equation shear reinforcement spacing is equal ASW into 0.78 DFCK cot theta divided by the ED. Now the area we know 226 into 0.78 D545 into 25 cot theta is we have already calculated that is 24.52 right divided by shear force 500 into the 10 to the power t here the shear force we have, we have to consider at the d distance from the face of the support that you have to keep in mind you don't want to consider shear force at the face you can consider the shear enhancement then you can do the design from this calculation, spacing becomes 206 millimeter. So you can provide the provide T at the spacing of 200 millimeter. Then we have to find the minimum shear link requirement. Minimum shear link. Minimum shear link can be calculated from SW minimum equal S SW minimum divided by S equals 0.08. FCK to the power point 5 BW divided by FYK. Right? So, since we know the, all the values, say so area 226 spacing, we are going to calculate the spacing 0 0.08 FCK is 25, then BW is 300 divided by FYK is 500. From this equation, we can get S as 9.42 millimeter. Then the provided spacing is 200 millimeter. Then this satisfies the our requirement. In addition to that, since we consider the, in addition to that, we have to consider the additional longitudinal tension force developed from this calculation or from this method. That is delta. F 
td equal 0.5 v ed cot theta so the derivations of these equations and all that we can refer to the uh, basic guidelines so we are here we are concentrating on the method of calculating the shear reinforcement rate here this uh, tension forces will be considered in the feedback curtainments and anchorage you have to consider this force for feedback curtainment and anchorage so the total uh, force in the reinforcement bar become m e d divided by z plus delta f t d so both those you have to consider here this come from the reinforcement design and this come from the shear reinforcement design this total force you have to consider when you con when you doing the curtailment and reinforcement anchorage with that we end the today discussion on shear reinforcement design for the euro cord i hope that it's clear if you have a doubt you can ask anything so let's meet again from new video thank you very much